Joining us today on The Blend, we have the CEO of the Jackson Area Transportation Authority, Michael Brown, along with Chad Cumberworth. He's the Government and Community Relations Manager for JADA. Michael, how is JADA handling the COVID-19 crisis? Wow, um, we are on top of things. We are um, doing a lot of things. Our drivers, our passengers rather, are entering and exit through rear doors only. Um, we're collecting no fares right now. Um, we have dividers between drivers and passengers. Um, we have sanitary uh, um, equipment on all the buses for the drivers, including gloves, masks. Um, we've cut back our hours uh, on the non-peak times. Um, we're not running our weekend service at this point in time. Uh, doing everything we can to stay on top of things and create the atmosphere that needs to be. Well, and JADA all along has been running bus service for essential services for people, grocery stores and businesses and hospitals and doctor's appointments, right? That's correct. That's correct. We've been uh, main maintaining the service and telling people, you know, you've got to be going to an essential service location, such as a central service workplace, a doctor, pharmacy, you know, things of that nature. Still work. Yeah. So, Chad, what's on the horizon now for, J for JADA? Uh, Something really, really exciting we hope to get started by either pilot, either by uh, late summer, early fall. It's called Rides to Wellness. It's a initiative to try to combine health and wellness, integrate that with an on-demand service through our local transportation company here. And um, with that, it's going to be taking people to and from medical appointments, um, not using a traditional bus, but more like a sedan type vehicle. And with this this service will hope to cut down on missed medical appointments for people that don't have cars or don't have transportation to get to the, to the hospital or to the doctor's office. And not only will they take them to the doctor's office, but we'll also um, take them to um, essential services like pharmacies or grocery stores afterwards. Like, especially for somebody that's been in the hospital for a while, they get, they get discharged, they don't have groceries at home, they need to pick up some stuff at the pharmacy. So we'll do that for them with this, with this Rides to Wellness. It's wow! Trying, yeah, really trying. To, it's really it's a really good innovative service. We think um, that we're trying to follow a model off after Flint, Michigan, and okay. we're trying to trying to make it our own. And um, we're hoping to be successful with that. And um, there's we're trying to partner with the local hospitals too to pilot this program um, to help sustain the program long term. Wow! And you, and you hope to start the the rise to wellness when? Um, probably late summer, early fall. We're still waiting on funding to come through. All right. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It's great talking with you today. Wish you all the best and, and take care. Thank you. You too.